What's up, YouTubers? My name is Penny Johnson, and guess what? This is my first vlog. Blog. It's my first one. And so um, I'm here because um, I have a message. Um, when I decided to do this um, vlog, I wasn't quite sure on the topic. And I want it to be really, really interesting and informative because it's what I do. I'm an educator and I like to educate people. I like people to live like the best successful life that they could possibly live. Um, and so I want to, I was trying to come at a different angle um, as far to make it interesting, to make it informative, so that people can get something out of what I'm trying to say. And so the topic of my choice and something that I'm really passionate about, uh, passionate about is um, and, and something that I really love. You know, I want the viewers, I want you YouTubers to know that this is um, a good topic. It's a good subject. And, um, you know, again, very informative as well as entertaining. So today I decided to talk about drugs. Yeah, 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 I know. You're probably saying, oh, my God, my mother just got a TV show. No, no, I'm not trying to be your mother. I'm just about trying to be... I guess you can call it someone that's supportive um, and somebody, I mean, you can look on YouTube and you can get some information from, you know, something that will help you. And so um, I'm often asked, um, like in my opinion, what I think about drugs and especially marijuana because it seems to be the going thing now. Everybody's doing it. You know, your your pregnant mothers, your your are doing it, even when they're not supposed to. Yeah, they're doing it. Your grandma, um, your auntie Lizzie, your uncle Joe, and your cousins—they're all doing it because it's like the thing to do. Um, but I must tell you that I am not a fan. I'm not a fan of marijuana. Um, not here to pass judgment on anybody because I love everybody, you know. Like I said, black, white, red, purple, yellow, you know. I want everybody to live a really good life outside of drugs, okay. And it is possible, you know. And so I want to educate you in a way that is very, very effective, Um Unfortunately, we live in a society, uh, it's a change in society. Technology is booming. You know, we, um, we, things are going fast. The weekend's coming faster. And so, um, and time is moving on. Um, but not only is time moving on, the way we live is different. Um, uh, I'm sure all of you have known uh, or know that we're in an opioid crisis. It's a crisis. People are dying. Um, over 500,000 uh, overdoses just in the year 2016. Uh, that is considered an epidemic by the CDC. Um, and so people are dying. Suicide rates, suicide rates are very high. Um, and it, it's really not good. <laughs> It's not good at all. So you know that, um, I mean, you can see all this stuff. All this stuff you guys probably know. And if you're blinded by it, then you need to wake up. You need to wake up and you need to smell the coffee. And so we, list, we live in a society where people really are just not happy. Um, we have these rectangular devices in our pocket, which has access to anything in the world. I mean, entertainment as much as you want, you would think will be like really happy, ecstatic, but no, people are just not happy. And so what do they do? They use drugs to mask it, to, you know, make them feel better, to make them feel happy. And 
it's um it's it's not turning out very well um and so no i'm not a fan i'm not a fan of marijuana straight out i'm not um i know it can be very enjoyable and it seems to help with like a lot of ailments um but it doesn't necessarily mean that it's good for you um People have told me that, you know, oh, um, it helps me to sleep at night, you know. It helps me um, with my pain level. Um, it helps me, like my dear say, with glycoma, whatever. The issue may be people, they indulge in it and they abuse it. Um, and so whatever the reason... People use it, um, it just eventually goes into abuse. And abuse just basically means abnormal use. Abuse, okay? Uh, but the truth from my perspective and from the research that I've done on marijuana and from watching and tracking uh, my patients and um, lives is that marijuana, number one, it increases uh, your anxiety. It increases your anxiety. The World Health Organization stated that by the year 2020, depression and anxiety would be the number one disability. By the year 2020, uh, that's like a year and a half from now. Depression and anxiety would be the number one disability that's astounding I mean man um, and another thing that I'm not a fan of marijuana is that it gets in the way of your connection to your spiritual self um, you know number three it's a huge has this huge manana energy or it's a demotivator basically it's a demotivator. Um, whenever you don't, uh, people that don't um, follow through um, with their tasks or things that they want to do in life, um, it literally gets you uh, in the way. It gets in the way of like your purpose in life. Okay, so it's a definitely, definitely a demotivator. And then again, um, this, marijuana. You know, it has, people think it's enjoyable, yeah, but it still has all these negative effects um, on the body, on the mind, um, and we'll get into that later, like the active ingredients in mar marijuana. Um, and number four, it, it blocks your emotion. It's an inhibitor, um, which is not a good thing, um, and I'll explain to you in depth why it is a um, uh, inhibits your emotions uh, people I've noticed that people that uh, use it like every day twice a day and then when they don't have it they're very irritable some people lash out uh, angrily towards others and it just literally like their emotions is just like you know it just like springs out you know but once they're get their little, um, you know, s smoke it, then they're fine, you know. So, um, and another thing, and I would say to be number five, it affects your prefrontal cortex. This is, it's right here, um, the uh, forehead, behind the forehead, prefrontal cortex which basically is responsible for all of your executive thinking. Um, and so it affects that. It affects your memory. You can't remember things. You forget things. Um, simple things like where your keys are, where you put your keys. And, um, you know, you can be talking to somebody and all of a sudden you lose your thought. And it's like, what was I going with this? You know, I see it all the time with marijuana users and abusers and so I mean with all these negative things that that it does to the body um, is it really like worth it 
you know, um, and some of the stuff is like irreversible. And so, no, 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 I'm not a fan, not a fan at all. So, but listen, listen here. I want to continue this topic on marijuana, but I ran out of time. So sorry about that. I do talk a lot. Um, maybe the next one will be longer, but I just, this, because this is my first YouTube vlog, um, I just wanted to introduce myself and, uh, tell you what I'm all about and what my purpose of, uh, these vlogs is for, for is just pretty much to educate people, um, not to tell you what to do, I'm not here to judge you, but to just give out information that could help somebody, you know, if I can just help one person, you know, it will make my life very happy. And so please do me a favor, do me a favor, subscribe to this channel, please. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you like the topic. I'm going to have different topics. Um, and so, yeah, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel. Um, and so, yeah, I'm here for you. Subscribe.